Hello and welcome boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, he's and haze and thems and days. We are here bringing you week two of the TCL draft and this is going to be a fun one because I certainly did not expect Kingdra. Okay, so now we're going to have to deal with the Kingdra, which is fine. <clears throat> uh, I do have a gummy bear for Mamoswine, and uh, it might be able to take hits from the Kingdra pretty well. Um, we have Remesis for Zeraora, and uh, Scizor's not too big of a problem because we got plenty of fire coverage on this team. So what I am going to do is they have a lot of grounded Pokemon, so I'm going to lead Remesis. I predict a... I don't even know what they would lead. Maybe... Maybe uh, the Spider? Maybe the Spider? You know what? Um, let's lead Easy Bake. Bluff the Scarf. If they lead the Spider, um, we'll Volt Switch out. And go to Remesis. If they don't uh, lead the spider, um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> but the game plan is get down spike and swing ASAP. Hard as you can, as soon as possible. And uh, Kingdra is actually a very good Pokemon in this match because it could Dynamax and set up its own range. Lucia, what is that? Alright, so he leads this thing, which is actually great this is kind of what we have in EJ4 so I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna I'm gonna T-bolt because there's no reason for me not to I mean other than the mammoth swine in the back but I mean maybe he thinks I think that and I don't I could have just also clicked overheat. Return. So they probably are like, okay, he's not start. Unless that thing start. <clears throat> well, it's definitely gonna go mammal swine now. Nagasoto. Oh no. This is this is a fair mon too. <laughs> Good thing he's at full health already, so it's not like we're helping him. Now they find out we are left over, so they know definitely now that we are not. Um, we call it. So I'm gonna go Kurt here. Actually, Kurt is my zero aura answer. That's what I meant. Uh, Quiffer Grigius is a special wall. Slowbro is another physical wall, so we're going to get the Intimidate off. Substitute. Nice. So he's going to try to set up on us right here. We're going to click Triple Axle. I want to get some damage off while breaking the sub, so hopefully we can do that. Toxic. Okay, that's fine. We are literally only here for you, Fuzzball. So one hit. Does that break it? Nope. Two hits is gonna break it though. No. That certainly made it break though. Okay. Wow, bulky. Bulky boy. So we got a substituting stalling zero aura. We're just gonna go earthquake on this one. Cause if he sets up a sub again, I don't want to risk uh, breaking. Oh, he's sub protect. Are you seriously toxic stalling with a legendary right now? That is really fucking lame. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie at all. Okay, so we're gonna get toxic stalled by a legendary.
I'm just clicking Earthquake. I mean, I don't want to get another free sub. If he switches, it's fine. That's really name though. That's really, really fucking name. Alright, Uta comes out. And we'll go ahead and get a uh, thumb chip on it. Alright, now what do we go to here? I think I go... I'm gonna go Ramsey and just Toxic Spike. He wants a Toxic Stall, I'll Toxic Stall him right back. <laughs> Liquidation, we should take that fine. Oh, we don't. Oh, of course, critical hit, why not? And the defense drop, okay. Water bubble is gone, whatever. Uh, he's probably faster than us. I'm gonna go Toxic Spikes anyway. So let's see what he decides to do here. Toxic. Okay, buddy. Alright. I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. Toxic spikes ourselves. Oh, he just brought the most annoying team possible, I guess. Okay. You know what? Just go for protect. Why not? I'm just going to click another layer of spikes. If I can get it off, I get it off. I mean, I'm not going to let anything else go down to this thing. Just wow. Wow. Oh, we live. So, two layers of toxic spikes, and we are golden. And now we go down to... Uh, uh, toxic. And now we go to croissant. The croissant. And now we're just gonna fucking max and hit this thing because that was annoying. We are Moxie, so I'm just gonna kill it. He can't max legendaries. So I should kill here and get a speed boost from that first thing. Depending on how built this thing is anyway. Alright, the next air stream comes off and down goes Uta. Uta's gone. And we got a speed boost. I didn't want to risk getting toxic there. I would have went for Dragon Dance, but not worth it. And Salamance is set up once, and we're on our way. Let's see if he brings in a Maximon to stall us out. Nagatoro. Nope, this thing's dead. Okay, we're going to go Max Wormwind. That's fine. He doesn't have a fairy. So that I don't have to worry about. You know what, I'm gonna go max airstream again because he has nothing that can hurt me and I need double speed for Kingdra just in case he gets the rain up.
So max airstream. I got this kill to Yeah. So he probably just goes toxic. Toxic knockoff or okay. That's better, actually. So we got double speed, so we're faster than Kingdra in the rain. Kana, it's coming out. Oh, this thing. All right, we got we got a lot of health on this, so we should be able to live anything. Plus, if we go down, it's not the end of the world either. So I'm gonna go Dragon Claw. If we even chunk this, this is, this is good. Oh, not enough health. Okay. That is fine, we're still in good position. So gummy bears, this is the only reason you're here. Alright, and we're gonna go... We're gonna go Future Sight, predicting a switch. That way he has constant pressure on him. I should have probably just went to slow bro instead of wasting Salamence now that I think about it. <laughs> I mean, it's not a big deal, but you know, it's another mine we could have kept. Alright, so he goes Stealth Rock, which we're not worried about. I mean, the only mine that was worried about it had heavy duty boots on anyway. And that Toxic is stacking up on his side. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go for the Scold. Freeze drag. Okay. Fine. Next attacker. Oh. And down goes Ghana. Alright, what does he bring out now? What's coming now, Nico? Lucia? Okay, it's that thing. Does it have debug? Oh, this is gonna take a hit. Alright, we're just gonna scold. We should be able to live a hit. If it goes defog, even better. Brain dead. Okay. I mean, he could just max. Uh, Kingdra, but this is gonna boost our skull. And future sight should take this one out. Okay, here we go. Now we play the sack game because Kingdra has quite a few turns in the range. Okay, we're gonna go Kurt first. No, you know what? Um, let's go easy bake. Easy bake touches nothing at this point that matters. So we're gonna go easy bake. He probably matches here. Yep. Okay. I was about to say he's gonna flex. He's not gonna max. <laughs> I'm sure it's a water move coming off. We gotta live the next three here. Max 
Alright, do we make the read in the metagross? Okay, we're just thunderbolting because if we if he goes for max ease again we live and we could potentially get a uh oh, what do you call it? a para so that's not gonna happen so that's two turns I mean, it's getting chipped down pretty well so now we go kurt he can max ooze again, but I don't know if he will. Intimidate's not doing anything, but we can go for Mach Punch and do a little bit more chip damage along with that Life Orb plus Poison that he's got going on over there. That's airstream. Okay, now it's gonna be fast. Fair enough. All right, so now we go back to slow bro here, and then we set up with Metagross, and we should win after that. So we're gonna go future sight here. Plus one, we might live. I don't know for sure. We, we are not especially old. We are max HP, so that might help. But we're in the rain. He's plus one. So we're going to go future sight. At this point, I'm just trying to get all the chip I can. Hurricane. We live it. Oh, yeah. So we go future side here. And honestly, I think it just goes down. I'm just gonna get skulled. And it got a surf! Okay, so gummy bear goes down. Can Metagross 1v1 the last two Pokemon on his team? I think so. I mean, Zero Aura is going to hurt, but after our agility, we'll be faster. If he goes knockoff, we, we bust our weakness policy before it does damage, so do that. I doubt it has the knockoff coverage though, because it had protect. Okay, so this thing. Do we have the agility now? I don't think so. I think we just swing. I think we just uh, earthquake. Earthquake plus future attack. Future sight plus earthquake. That's not super effective, is it? Nope. Ooh, he might have tripped us down enough. Now that I think about it. Well, no, because this thing's going to go down to the future type. Future sight attack. Can two more earthquakes beat him before he kills us? with two U-turns. That is what the battle has come down to. <laughs> Intense game. I think we got this though. Earthquake again. Yeah, we got this. Oh no, we don't got this. Dude. Do we got this? I don't think so. Uh, he might be able to stall us out with the roost. 
because we have no recovery. So I'm gonna go for Zen Headbutt, try to get a flinch, I guess. I don't know. Oh, we just missed. Okay. Fair. Fair enough. I mean, he didn't need the roof again, but it makes sense, I guess. Oh, I guess, I guess he did, actually. I'm gonna go Zen Headbutt. Do we get a flinch? Nope. We turn. And we're going to be dead on the next turn. So, GG to Nico. That was a very interesting match. Does he root? He might root to be on the safe side. Alright. Yeah. No, we die here. If we don't die here, uh, we need a crit. Yep, we die here. Well, GG, Nico. That was a fun battle. Came down to the final mine. And we will see you guys next time for the TCL.